Uh, we've got a packed Lake Lake show for you tonight. Uh, celebrity guests, fabulous prizes, a tale of triumph over adversity, and we also depict a harrowing tale of cruel and crazed depravity. Uh, looking forward to that one in particular. Uh, don't forget our postal quiz for that fabulous prize for two to the Liffey Valley Shopping Center in association with Armitage Shanks, culminating in the piece de resistance of that particular prize, a meal for one of you in the exclusive Pizza Hut restaurant. So, pens and papers at the ready now for clue number one in our postal quiz, which is as follows. Hey, diddle, diddle, this guy did a dribble all over the Cameroon. The boys in green laughed to see such fun, and the Germans said, we play them soon. At football, he's surely no bluffer. His name is quite simply... Bit of a tricky one there. Uh, even I may not get that one, although that's highly unlikely. Now, don't forget, at the end of the program, when I make that call, if you're not in, you don't win the prize. Now, some of you have been saying, well, that's not fair, just because we're not in, we don't win the prize. Well, perhaps you can think of a better way to run the competition. Perhaps you can think of a better way to present the Late Late Show. Join us after this. Don't go away. Goodbye. Uh, thank you. Welcome back to the Late Late Show. Now, my next guest is an extraordinary guy. He had everything, a uh, good job, nice house, uh, nice wife, uh, a real cracker she was. Uh, <laughs> and then, all of a sudden, he lost it all. He quite literally went from riches to rags. He's here to tell his sorry story tonight. But as a precaution, we have disguised his true identity. So, for the purpose of this exclusive interview tonight on The Late Late Show, would you please welcome a very brave Peter with Father Michal O'Shea. Um, Peter, thank you for coming on the program. Can you tell us what your life was like before it went so tragically wrong? Yes, uh, Pat. Um, I was married uh, to a Sinead and um, I had just been made uh, a full-time employee of the GAA National Executive, a job I'd always wanted. So my life really could not have been any better, Pat, yes. Okay, so everything was absolutely fine until one day at work you found yourself alone with a Hoover. That's right, Pat. Uh, the head of regional parallelogram development uh, walked into the conference room under the Cusack stand and found me naked with the Hoover Pat. You were naked with the Hoover? That, that's right, Pat, I was. Is this where you came in, Father O'Shea? Okay, but this wasn't in itself an isolated incident, Peter, isn't that so? In fact, at this stage, you were already out of control. That's right, Pat. Uh, I realised that I had um, a very serious problem. A problem so bad, in fact, that it culminated in you losing your position on the GAA executive, uh, a position you held great affection for. You must have missed the day-to-day -day routine of GAA life. Um, how did you fill the vacuum? Um... I mean, where, where, did, you, where did you go? Um, what did you, is this where you came in, Father O'Shea? So you literally had no one to turn to. Yeah, that's right. My wife left me. I was ostracized by, by the local community. And I was beaten senseless by eight members of the inter-county hurling team. So there you were, on the streets, uh, beaten, disgraced, desperate, desolate, destitute. Things couldn't get any worse, except remarkably they did. That's right, Pat. I was outside a church where I had been praying. God was my only friend. And I was set upon by the remaining seven members of the inter-county hurling team and beaten viciously with cudgels and so on. When you say beaten, they didn't just beat you, did they? No, 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 Pat. They, 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 they took my dignity away, Pat. Yes. Is this where you came in, Father O'Shea? Okay, so you're in hospital. You have no job, no friends, uh, no wife. Really, at this stage, things couldn't get any worse. Except, again, remarkably, they did. 
That's right, Pat. Um, I was, uh, when I was in hospital, uh, they did a number of routine uh, tests, and uh, during those tests they discovered I had a very rare condition called swollen blood. Pat. Swollen blood? That's right, Pat. Whereby, presumably, your blood... Um... Swells, Pat. It's very big, too big for the veins, and so on. Okay, okay, so you're distraught, distressed, depressed, no life, no wife, no hope, swollen blood for which you will have to undergo treatment three times a week for the rest of your life, which is six weeks. Um, just when you were about to give up hope, Remarkably, you wrote a book, didn't you, detailing your experiences? That's right, Pat. Uh, well, it's more than a book, really. It's a lifeline, I suppose. Uh, um, and I'm hoping that if the book is published, that the proceeds of the sale of the book will go towards paying for special treatment that exists in America. That might keep me long, alive longer for the six weeks I have left. Extraordinary that you uh, managed to write a book, uh, given your circumstances. From where did you find the inspiration? Uh, thanks be to God, Sister Philomena in the hospital where I was. Um, she told me uh, about uh, St. Anthony's Catholic Publishing Press House. So I sent my only manuscript to Father Michal O'Shea, who was the commissioning editor there. Okay, so this is in fact where you came in, Father O'Shea. You read his tome, A Tale of a Man's Descent into the Valley of Darkness. You read it, you enjoyed it. Apart from it saving Peter's life, you also saw how it could be an inspiration to others. Uh, what happened next? I lost it. Like a big eater. Like a big eater. Big eater. But that, that, that was my only one. I lost it. That was the only one. I lost it. Okay, that's all we've got time for Bad tonight. Uh, join me Bad next man. week when I'll be talking that, that to a poet who man. does know. Bad man. That was Bad man. Man. Bad man. That was my lifeline. That was my lifeline. You absolute. No. No. Bad man. Bad man. Bad man. Bad man.